What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Is my microphone picking up my voice? Hold up. Let me make sure. Okay, well, I already greeted you guys, so ignore that slight change in audio. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be using a team sent to me by my good friend, XTB, also a Patreon of the channel. Shout out to you. And this team, he actually sent me some instructions with, as well as the rental code. So if you guys want to use the rental code, it is in the pinned comment in the in the comment section. I'm, I'm tired of people asking where it is, and it's in the description. It's in the pinned comments. I'm giving in. You guys get it. It's in the pinned comment. <laughs> but welcome back, guys. Um, so yeah, this is a sand team featuring Gigantamax, Rillaboom, Scope Lens, Togekiss, Weakness, Policy, Tyranitar, Choice, Scarf, Chandelure, which is interesting. It's going to help versus, like... I guess Durant, like Durant is honestly still kind of around, which is kind of cool. Um, and we're also going to be using this Cobavaria Moongus with Palm Puff. Uh, really interesting team. He sent me some instructions on how to use it on particular matchups. But yeah, I didn't get too many views in the last video, so I'm going to ask the same question as I did on, the, on that video, on this video. And that is, what would you guys think about me starting a series where you guys send me clips on Twitter? And I just react to like interesting plays you made in Pokemon. So like, if you don't know, if you press and hold the screen record button, as I am right now, it's going to save a little clip of what you just saw. So let's say you see some really wacky stuff. Go ahead and send that to me on Twitter. Would you guys like a series where I just react to that? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's try to shoot for 150 likes today. Turn on notifications, do whatever you want. I really appreciate anything you do for the channel. But yeah, also the channel's been growing like at a really good point like rate recently and I, I'm really appreciative of, of that you guys are supporting me and it goes a long way and I, I really love it thank you so much also we're still in great ball tier because I have like literally no time to play off camera and it's been a couple of days since I recorded <laughs> hopefully we can at least make it to like ultra ball tier um, usually it's not too hard I just have not been playing we're facing mono electric what well he didn't give me instructions on how to face mono electric um, it looks like he doesn't have any tailwind on this team but he might have electro web for he might have Electro Web for um, just speed control, I guess. Do we have Mold Breaker on this Excadrill? I'm pretty sure we're Sand Rush, yeah. Regardless, Excadrill is an excellent lead. Um, it might be Intimidate on the Lux Race, so I'm going to play carefully around that. Uh, Rillaboom looks amazing in this matchup, and it looks like they have no immunities to uh, Rage Powder. So I'm thinking here, we can probably go with... I'm going to say... Rillaboom on the lead, or mm, nah, Tyranitar Excadrill is just such an oppressive lead versus them. Rillaboom in the back, and I'm thinking my last mon's going to be a Moongus. They have very little they can do versus this. Uh, hopefully I don't have to eat my words in a second here, but I'm pretty sure we're fine. Speaking of which, I don't have a video recorded for tomorrow. Oh my god, I have to do that too, and it's going to be another showdown live. You know what? Also comment... Also comment, what Pokemon do you think I should use in tomorrow's Showdown Live? I meant to get that recorded already, but uh, unfortunately I had to use a different one. <laughs> I had to use uh, the Showdown Live earlier this week since I didn't have any videos scheduled uh, throughout the week. Been a little bit behind, you know, a lot of stuff going on in my life. Alright, Toga tomorrow, Dracozult. This is incredible for me. Um, <laughs> I could probably just knock out that Dracozult. Let me think here. Um, I have all of the offensive pressure. They do have Fake Out. However, I'm pretty certain Sash Excadrill just always beats the Dracozult. So what I'll do here is... Oh, we're running Earthquake on the Excadrill. I don't really like that for um, for Rillaboom teams. I think you should always run High Horsepower with Excadrill. At least on Rillaboom teams. I'm thinking here, it's probably a safe bet to... We'll get in the Amoongus, and we can just Dynamax and go straight for the Max Quake. Uh, if they switch in the Vikavolt, which is their only ground immunity, um, I don't think that's too big of a deal. I think we'll be fine. Like, we are wasting one turn of Dynamax, which is huge, but granted, we do have redirection on our side of the field. They're all the same typing. It's, it's not going to be too hard. I have mad respect for everyone who tries to use one typing on the ladder. Like, that's insane. Like, if you can manage to, like, pull it off, like, that's incredible. In fact, I think A Drive the other week was uh, streaming with Mono Bug, and I thought that was so cool. I might try that. I might try that someday. If you guys are interested, let me know in like a Mono Bug team, because Bug is one of my favorite typings, or just a Mono anything team, really. Like, I just want to try something out like that. As it seems, they're going to be Dynamaxing this. Um, what's it called? The Dracozolt. I knew what it was. I wasn't thinking they were Dynamaxing the Togemaru. That's typically not what you want to do. Um, however, 
Unless they go for a max guard, I think they're in trouble here. As they opt to fake out the Excadrill, not the best play, my friend. However, they have broken my Sash, so if they decide to target into the Excadrill slot, and they do somehow survive this, um, it's not going to be great for me. As they do survive it, perfectly fine. They'll be gone in a couple of turns here. And I get a special defense raise on my Amoongus, which is amazing. And they max Quake. I'm thinking I might be able to take this. Nope. Okay, so the double was actually a pretty solid play on their part in the end. However, I do have Redirection, and I still have my Tyranitar, so I could always just follow me Rock Slide. And the reason I want to Rock Slide is because it'll definitely pick up the KO on the Dracozult, um, and it'll break a Sash on this Togedomaru if they are running that. I don't think they're within Grassy Glide range, so Tyranitar just feels better. And I, I feel like they... I mean, they could call the max airstream and go for it onto the um, onto the uh, Amoongus, but I don't think it'll make too much of a difference since we have that Koba Berry. So I'll go ahead and just go for this Rage Powder, and I'll go for a Rock Slide. Sorry if you hear like some skittering in the background. That's my sister's dog running around making a making a fuss about nothing. Here's the Rage Powder going to redirect any hits. Let's see if they like nuzzle. Yeah, there it is. There's the nuzzle. That's going to be a little bit annoying, but I guess it's preferable to them having some weird tech move that'll just straight up knock me out. There's the max lightning. It's going to make the rest of their team pretty threatening. Kind of wishing I preserved the Excadrill, but I don't think it's the biggest deal. They likely went for the max lightning instead of going for a max airstream there because, um, for one, it would have made it so nothing can fall asleep, and dear god, let that not be the Drake Azult that avoided. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I'm like, did the Drake Azult just avoid the Rock Slide? That's kind of huge. Anyways, I still have Redirection, and I still have my um, Weakness Policy, so as long as I don't get flinched or... Right, because they could run Iron Head. As long as I don't get, like, um, what's it called? Paralyzed. I'll be fine. In fact, I might go for some Regenerator stuff here. Here's the Intimidate. Yeah, I'm thinking what I do here is I get in my Rillaboom and go for a Protect on this uh, Tyranitar. Get some Regenerator on the Amoongus as well. The Assault Vest is going to be great, and I think I should be able to take whatever I need to while removing the Electric Terrain. Yeah, I'll go for the Protect. The Assault Vest, like, I don't think either of these guys are going to be special. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense, but it's going to be nice for the end game, I guess. Just being able to soak up every hit even better than I would if it were just a resisted hit, you know? So we'll get some Regenerator going. Set up the Grassy Terrain. Grassy Glide's going to be doing a ton now. And we also get some Recovery on the uh, on the Tyranitar, I suppose. Let's see if they went for the Iron Head. That's fine. Superpower, perfectly fine. I can get in my Amoongus on that slot. I'm a little bit concerned about... Um, getting paralyzed here. And do you think they're running like Fire Fang or something on this uh, on this um, Luxray? I think if anything they would still target into the um, Tyranitar and probably go for a Nuzzle into my Real Boom slot. So what I'll do here is I'll go for a Fake Out into this Togedomaru to avoid that and get back in my Excadrill. Or Excadrill, get back in my Amoongus. As they withdraw, let's see who comes in here. Hopefully no spiky shield, that'd be a little bit annoying. The Vikavolt, okay. Vikavolt's gonna be annoying. I can guarantee that. Just the fake out. Get a little bit of damage. So I suppose my endgame here would 100% be to remove this Togedomaru, making it safer for Tyranitar to come in. And as long as I can keep my Amoongus healthy, um, I should be able to redirect away any hit from the Luxray in the end. So I have to play this a little bit carefully. Amoongus is definitely going to want to be targeted here, um, but I can't afford not to redirect, I think. Or you know what I could do? I could try to get in my Tyranitar here. And 
and just redirect hits with Amoongus. Amoongus should be able to take both of these hits, I think. Let's try it. Alright, we'll get in the Tyranitar. And we'll redirect away all these hits. Rage Powder. And then next turn I can probably protect my Tyranitar and possibly... If Amoongus survives, it'd be a little bit harder to get in the Rillaboom. And I, I really want to keep Amoongus alive because it's such a huge asset to winning this match. Um, but... It would also make it so I have better fake out pressure and steel roller. I was waiting for that. I was like, I feel like they might have steel roller somewhere on this team. Luckily, we do survive the hit, but I don't anticipate us being able to survive the next one. There's the air slash Koba Berry. Save me. Oh, we just avoid that. We just avoided that whole attack. Beautiful. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a protect. Ooh. Is it possible? I think they definitely want to target into Hyranitar here. I'm going to go hard Rillaboom, get some more Regenerator on that Amoongus. And the Koba Bear will help me out with the Air Slash. So, like, it, it's a lot easier to take that hit if I essentially just resist it. <laughs> okay, this actually isn't bad. I'm going to get minus one on my... Um, I'm going to get minus one on my Tyranitar. But with any luck, what will happen here is they'll go for an Iron Head into the Tyranitar, give me, giving me my weakness policy. And as long as I don't flinch, I can pick up some major damage. Let's see if they made the call and went for a Steel Roller. That would have been insane. I'm pretty sure they're just going to Iron Head. There's the Iron Head. We take it somewhat okay. Um, I think they're pretty confident that the Fake Out's about to come out. And I really want to get rid of this Togedomaru. Like, really bad. I think if anything here, they definitely go for a... I really can't afford not to go for this. Yeah, alright. I want to... I really want to go for a fake out into the Togedomaru calling it. But I have to fake out into the stupid Luxray slot. There's the withdrawal. That's fine, I guess. As long as I can remove this Togedomaru from the field. In fact, they might even give me weakness policy. I should be okay. Because then I can just start spamming um, Rock Slide. There's the Steel Roller. Alright, it's into the Rillaboom. I'm okay with that, I guess. If we lose Rillaboom, that isn't the worst thing on Earth, as long as you can remove this Togedomaru. Alright, Togedomaru's gone. This is a close match. It's a really close match. I do still have all my redirection pressure, which is great. Um, kind of concerned that might be like a weakness policy on the, on the Vikavolt. And I also have to not get paralyzed here, so it's coming down to a lot of factors that are slightly out of my control, but not entirely. Alright, so I am at minus two now, which isn't incredible. It isn't incredible. I'll give them that. I can Rage Powder away any hit I want, and I think I should be able to two-shot that um, Vikavolt. Go for a rock slide here. This can be really close. I have to not get paralyzed at all. They're playing this team really well. Respect to them, dude. Alright, we don't get paralyzed. Air Slash shouldn't knock us out from this range. And if they go for superpower, ah, they go for the crunch. Nice read. Rock Slide goes off. Oh no, please don't let that be the Vika Volt. Oh, come on, man. Bug Buzz. Yeah, it looks like we lost. Unfortunate. Alright. That's fine, though. Like I said, mad respect to anyone that can play mono, mono type and do really well. So we're going to forfeit this match here. I really wish I could just, like, have a day where I just go onto the ladder and just get to Master Ball, because it's not that hard, to be honest. It, it's, like, not that hard, in my opinion, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel weird recording down here at, like, the, the lower tiers. All right, we'll continue battling. Steel Roller Togedomaru, you might have made the thumbnail, man. I think that Togedomaru might have made the thumbnail.
All right. So, hopefully we face something um, a little bit more practical. I'm not saying that, like, impractical teams are at all an issue. You know, it's just that I have some instructions here on how this team works. I didn't get EVs or anything, so I'm not entirely certain about speed or attack or anything. <laughs> so all I know is what they've told me, which is Chandelure, Titar, Rillaboom, and Excadrill are super solid against Psy Spam. Rillaboom, Togekiss, and Moongus are really good versus Rain. Uh, switching into T-Tar to outspeed opponents is really easy to get some cheesy KOs. Um, yeah, okay. A lot, of, a lot of good info. And this looks like it's... Well, they don't have a terrain, so it's just Trick Room Clawitzer, which is kind of scary. Um, I don't have Taunt anywhere on this team, I believe. Do I have Imprison? I do not have Imprison. However, the Choice Scarf doesn't look awful in this matchup, considering they have three Ghost types. I have to be really careful, though, versus... Ooh, you know what I should actually do? I could lead off Togekiss and Chandelure. Actually, it makes more sense to go Togekiss Tyranitar, because they're going to probably self-weakness policy, I assume. Amoongus in the back doesn't look awful. And I'm thinking Excadrill is pretty solid here, just as a sand abuser. A man of culture. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like they're going hard trick room. I mean, I suppose I could go for an air slash flinch. I think they're just going to rage powder though. It makes more sense for them to rage powder than anything. Yeah, I don't think he's going to spore anything. Um, oh, we don't even have a... Alright, I'm a little bit confused here. We do not have a flying-type move. I should have checked that. Yeah, I definitely think a flying-type move would have been really nice here for the Amoongus. I suppose we can helping hand this Rock Slide and hope for the best. Yeah, I would have really preferred having, like, Air Slash there. As they don't end up redirecting, I think. Actually, what order does it come out? Yeah, I could have knocked out this, um, this Dust Clops. I get a flinch. They get the Trick Room off. Not incredible. Not cash money. So what play can I make here? I think they're far more concerned about Tyranitar than they, end than they are about this Togekiss. Um, I do have my own Amoongus in the back. I, I'm really tempted to use my... Oh, this is close. Um, I have to make a super weird play here. I'm going to max Starfall into this Dust Clops and go for a Protect with my Amoongus. And I'm hoping that what will happen here is they'll end up going for a Spore into the uh, Tyranitar uh, in hopes of stopping me from knocking out that Dust Clops. And by doing that... I mean, they also might go for it into the, into the Amoongus, but I think they value Dust Clops more. So I'm hoping what I can do here is set up the Misty Terrain, making this much more safe for my, uh, for my, uh, Tyranitar. However, if they do Spore here, it's gonna be an issue. If they Spore into the Togekiss, but I don't think they will. Safety Goggles is super common. They go for the Nightshade? Yeah, it tells me they probably Spored into the, uh, Dusk, or into the, um, Tyranitar. Cool, so I end up making the play correctly. Max Starfall goes off, and if I get a crit, that'll be amazing. Cool. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. They can't put me to sleep now. I don't believe they have terrain. Yeah, I, I noticed that earlier. They have no terrain setter. And I don't believe they have a crunch switch in, so I should be able to knock out this Dust Cops by doubling into it. They can put the Togekiss to sleep, though, so it might be in my best interest just to protect the Togekiss here. Let me look at their team again. Yeah, they don't have a crunch switch in. I'm going to go for a max guard, anticipating them to want to knock out this Togekiss. And I'll crunch into the Dust Clop slot. Maybe they'll go for like a Palm Puff and give me my weakness policy. That'd be incredible. Or if they Palm Puff the Dust Clops, I'm going to be really annoyed. I'm going to be real annoyed here. 
It's the Max Guard. The Nightshade off onto the Tyranitar. That tells me it's likely a Spore into the Toekiss. Yep, there it is. We're going to knock out this Dusclops. Wearing out the Trick Room turns is incredible. It's a shame I had to use my uh, Dynamax defensively there. Because they have offensive Dynamax, and if there's a Marowak in the back, I am in trouble. I'm assuming they brought Marowak to this matchup. It does relatively good versus my team. The Clawitzer, okay. Now, I don't want to see that thing, Dynamax. Probably not. It's probably going to go for, like, um... We have two turns of Trick Room here. It's probably going to go for the, um, Aura Sphere, so I can protect here. And then I have Redirection on the next turn, and I should be alright. So I'm going to go ahead and end my Dynamax early, and get in this, uh, get in this Code Barrier Amoongus. Not that the Code Barrier is going to come into play unless there's a Cinderace in the back. But it looks like I'm, um, I should be able to wear out their entire Trick Room, and that puts me in a much better position. There's the Aura Sphere. I can redirect that away. And I'm thinking here, um, it's probably better for me just to go for a crunch into this Amoongus. Because it might be in range. If it's if it's not running like a Wiki Berry, I'm thinking it's in range of Crunch plus... Oh, it's Black Sludge. Okay, I was going to say Crunch plus um, whatever that move is. Stupid freaking uh, Sandstorm. It's not a move. It's a, it's a field effect. <laughs> okay, so Rage Powder. Uh, I think maybe I should just go for the Rock Slide then for Chip on both of these Pokemon. Unless he's running Surf, he shouldn't be able to hit me. Or maybe Safety Goggles. Oh my god, if he Safety Goggles Clawitzer, I'm going to lose it. There's the Palm Puff. Not doing too much. Aura Sphere. Going to do nothing. That's such a cool effect. I haven't seen that move yet. I love the animation there. Alright, we got some chip damage, and now I'm faster than both of these Pokemon. So the Rock Slide is free. Or the Crunch actually is free. That should KO from this range. Yeah, here. I'll go for a Rage Powder. I'll go for a uh, Crunch here. Just to get rid of this Amoongus, because I don't want anything switching in. And I'm thinking, if they want to get regenerated on Amoongus, they would probably switch in another Trick Room Pokemon. Since they opted to go hard Trick Room, it's pretty clear. I think probably Marowak would come out. There's the Rage Powder. Nothing to fear here. Crunch should come out and knock it out. Beautiful. Aura Sphere is going to do nothing, and I'm pretty certain there is a Marowak in the back with my name on it. The Mist is gone, not that it matters anymore. Or actually, I guess it's more detrimental to them since they don't have any status effects, and I, I have the option to Spore whatever I need to here. There's the Marowak. That's pretty likely the Dynamax candidate here. I think Excadrill is important to save. Um, I'll switch out the Togekiss, I think. Or actually, no, I should really just sack the Amoongus. I'll Rage Powder away that hit, and I'll just remove Clawitzer. Because I should be faster than this uh, Marowak if it's hard trick room. Yeah, Crunch should knock it out. I hope. I actually don't know Clawitzer's stats very well. As they're probably Dynamaxing that Marowak here. It just seems to be the best choice for them. And I think if Tyranitar survives this turn, which it, it definitely should. Unless this Crunch doesn't knock it out. But I'm pretty certain Crunch will knock it out. Um, unless Tyranitar doesn't survive this turn, I should be good to go. There's the Rage Powder. Because Amoongus is 100% going down. There's my Crunch. Please knock it out. Ooh. I didn't like that. Uh, luckily, the Aura Sphere will go first. So, uh, yeah. Marowak's going to get redirected here. Max Phantasm. It's definitely going to knock me out. Dude, Max Marowak is such a threat. It, it got Poltergeist now, so it has like a really strong Max Phantasm, and it can hold the Thick Club. So that's scary, man. Alright, I think my next play here is pretty clear. 
I have Focus Sash Excadrill, so it's better for me to switch in this Togekiss, follow me and go for Rock Slide to knock out both of these Pokemon, as well as getting some damage off on the uh, Marowak. Or knock out the Clawitzer while getting damage on the Marowak. And that'll allow me to get in Focus Sash Excadrill, and two Earthquakes should do the job after a Rock Slide. As long as I don't miss another Rock Slide, because we've been, been pretty inaccurate with these Rock Slides lately. There we go. Land both. Yeah, no, we win. Sash Excadrill. <laughs> I couldn't even say that. Sash Excadrill should just pick up a win here. There's the Max Flare. Probably knocking out the Togekiss. Yeah, that thing's terrifying. Alright, and what I do here is I get in the Excadrill, I protect the Tyranitar, I go for an Earthquake, and then the next turn I just Earthquake again, and it shouldn't really make a difference. Like, we should just be able to win now. There's the Earthquake. Go for the Protect. I mean, technically, I could just go for an Earthquake and knock out my Tyranitar, and it wouldn't make a difference. But, let's play it safe. Might pull out the Schmooves on us. Yeah, cool. We win. Max Flare off on the Excadrill. Even if I wasn't Sash Excadrill, I would have won there. Just because Crunch will definitely pick up a KO from that range. Alright. I will Rock Slide. I will Crunch. I'm, I'm playing this super safe for some reason. I don't know why. Like, there's no Marowak that doesn't run Thick Club. But on the off chance this is like some stupid set like Quick Claw, I don't want to lose, so... <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Because we already know we outspeed with Tyranitar. Alright. Cool. Maybe this weekend I'll actually find some time to play. Get out of the uh, lower tiers. Alright. Let's get one more for today. Woo, two points. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I've played a total of eight of eight games. <laughs> this season I played eight games. Alright, um wow, uh, another hard trick room. Once again, we don't have a way of stopping it really. Uh maybe if I this might be a Rillaboom game just because Grassy Glide does so much to everything. Yeah, I'm thinking Rillaboom plus Tyranitar is nice. In the back, Amoongus looks like he it eats his team alive. And... Redirection always seems nice versus Trick Room. Let's go with the Tokus. Yeah, uh, I would say one criticism I have of this team is... Um, Tokus should definitely be running a flying move. It's, it's very hard to run a team this season with no flying moves on it. And usually it's not an issue because you have a Togekiss on most teams. Uh, however, if Togekiss isn't running a flying move, it loses a lot of um, it loses a lot of the power it has. Mainly because Scopeland's Togekiss in particular likes to spam max airstream because it one sometimes just ignores stat drops and does fifty percent more damage anyways because of the crit. And two, you're always boosting your speed, which is amazing on sand teams. So that, that's my main criticism here. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't notice that when I was reading over the team. I'm like, hey. Because I saw I saw all these things and never thought to look for Air Slash. This looks like a Rillaboom game. I should be able to knock out his uh, Trick Room Setter here just by going for Max... Um, what's it called? Max Drum Solo. Unless he Ally Switches. Oh my god. That's the thing with Rillaboom. Trick Room or Ally Switch. They gotta pick one. Yeah, look at that power. Showdown hasn't coded it correctly yet, so... GMAX Drum Solo should always be at least 160 base power. And Showdown hasn't done that yet. <laughs> like, if you use it with Grassy Glide, which is how most teams run it, uh, it will end up only doing, like... How much? Like, 156 base power with the terrain? And that's just incorrect, so they gotta fix that. I'm pretty confident we just stopped Trick Room. I 
I like the camera angle that they actually um, give to the Gigantamax starters. It, it's really interesting because like you can tell it's Gigantamax just by the fact that the camera angle always starts low to the floor. Oh, please let Rock Slide go off. There we go. <laughs> I almost didn't double into it. Like I, I almost, I almost clicked Crunch, but I was concerned that. Drampo would go for an attack and then I wouldn't have a chance to flinch it or anything and I just want to damage off on everything. They're probably just going to forfeit now. I don't think they have a way of beating me. Drum Solo just eats their team alive and if it's Sap Sipper Drampo that doesn't even stop it. I'm trying to think if they had any other Trick Room Setters in their team. Snorlax the Tower Master. Now that thing could be an issue. I'm thinking they Dynamax the Snorlax, if anything, here. I'll just Drum Solo into it. And also go for a Crunch. There's no way they, they let Rhyperior Dynamax here. That makes no sense. Or if they even let it stay in. I think Drampa comes in. If they just sack this Rhyperior, that, that would... I wouldn't get it. Like, it would make no sense to me. Then they could be playing, like, 4D chess at me. Like, they just know that I know. That they know, you know? <laughs> They know that I know that they know, you know? I feel like that's Pokemon. That is the embodiment of all Pokemon matches. Please let that be the Snorlax. If that's the right period, I'm gonna flip. Bro, what? Max Guard. There's no way you didn't Max Guard here. Tell me you Max Guarded. Did they know that I knew that they knew? They knew that I knew that they knew. <laughs> okay, well, Snorlax gets knocked out. Um, there's no way I get one shot at this right here. Here, watch me get this defense drop. What I tell you? What I tell you, dude? Yeah, no, they can't win. Oh no, you one shot my my Tyranitar. He was so important to winning. Oh no. Now I, I... What did that accomplish, actually? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. They definitely should have been prioritizing this Rillaboom. How did they know that I knew that they knew? Alright, um... I mean... Tokus makes the most sense, I suppose. I can crit them. With Dazzling Gleam. And... I mean, Grassy Glide 100% picks up KO. So I'm just going to go ahead and focus down this... Um, I'm going to focus down this Drampa. Because they're not one-shotting me. In fact, they should max guard. As they don't. Just, what is this Rhyperior? Alright, yeah. Dazzling Gleam will knock you out now. And I'm pretty sure I survive any hit from this Rhyperior. And then I just... Then I glizzy glide, dude. I glizzy glide. When did we start calling... Oh no, Berserk. When did we start calling hot dogs glizzies? Yeah, that's a one-shot. Or not a one-shot, that's KO. Critically in the right here. Max Rockfall. Tell me that you targeted into Rillaboom. It would make no sense to do... To what are you doing?! <laughs> There is a grass type on the field, my friend. There is a grass type that's literally going to nene on you. I don't even have to grassy glide. I could wood hammer this thing. All right, Amoongus, come in. Am I going this whole match without this? <laughs> did did we take any damage on Rillaboom? Did he just let Rillaboom exist the whole time? Maybe he just likes monkeys, dude. I mean, monkeys are kind of cool. I'm going to use Grassy Glide just because I want to click it. I want to see how much it does. It doesn't matter. There's no way I lose. So I'll Rage Powder and I'll Grassy Glide. I want to see how much this does to Dynamax right here. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, it just KOs it. What were you doing? <laughs> what were they actually doing, though? Because, like, this team looks like a team built by someone who knows how to play Trick Room. Like, it's an interesting team, I'll give them that, but they definitely knew what they were doing when they were team building, so I'm curious why they let 
Or they let just Rillaboom exist the whole time. I don't know. What I would give to be inside their mind, I guess. Thank you for playing Rake Battles. Here's a bottle of protein. Thank you. I've been getting small. Oh, I really wanted to look at that. Okay. What if they didn't have Protect? I don't know. Let's see how I did. I just want to see, like, what's my overall ranking now that I actually played some games for the first time this week. <laughs> Alright. Um, update my rank. Come on. Okay, cool. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get out of here. Well... Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you. If you want to do me a favor, leave, leave a like on the video if you found it at all interesting, found it helpful, enjoyed the battles, or if I just entertained you. We're on the road to 20k, and I'm really excited to be uh, finally getting some momentum on the channel again. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice night, and yeah, see you.